How you doing? This is Sean McVeigh with Sean's Outdoor Adventures and in this video I'm going to show you how I use Google Maps on my phone to mark hunting spots. Alright, so here's my Google Maps. I'm hiking through the woods right now. There's me. And you can see I'm headed toward that yellow thing. Now that is a waypoint I put on my Google Maps. Sorry for the reflection by the way. Uh, that's a waypoint I put on my Google Maps at home and I'm going to go check it out right now. But if I'm, you know, at a spot, like say I'm hiking to that, and I'm like, oh, this is really good right here. Let me show you how I handle that. I'm zooming in by tapping, and now I got that, that blue circle is showing me the accuracy range. So I am somewhere in this blue circle. It just can't tell exactly where. So I zoom in pretty far, and then I hold down on the spot. Now you click down here, and I'm going to hit save. And I'm going to hit this little star guy right here, and that's going to drop a little star right there. So now if this was a really good spot that I found while I was headed to the one I marked at home, boom, I just marked it. But this is actually not a good place, so what I'm going to do is going to come in here and click on that, and I'm going to uncheck my little star, and it's going to make that star go away. I just wanted to show you what I would do if it was a good spot. Now I'm going to zoom back out and keep heading to that waypoint that I have in here to see how good it looks on the ground. By the way, if you really get into this map reading, I just started a brand new channel called the Map Reading Challenge. I'll put a link to that channel in the description section of this video. All right, I am now just north of that point that I put on here. And there's a little opening here. This could have been a landing for logging at one point in time. It's a very rocky area. And I just want to show you what I would normally do in this situation is I would click over to the aerial photo. Um, however, in this situation, I don't have good enough cell phone service to load the data. And so but what you do is you right now you click on that and hit this uh, satellite imagery and it'll convert over. I mean, it's trying to do that, but it just doesn't have enough coverage to do it. So I'm just gonna leave it on terrain since that's already kind of loaded in there. That is basically uh, how I use the Google Maps in the field. Now let me go back to the house and show you how this data translates right into my Google account. So when I pull it up on my computer, I can manipulate it, I can add points, I can delete points, things like that. And that's why I like using Google Maps as opposed to a lot of the like different types of apps that you can get it's just real easy for me to have it on any device automatically um, right there okay i am now back at my house and i'm just going to go on to um, an area of allegheny national forest because i don't want to give away the exact hunting spot where i just was at in case i need to go there this year um, but Allegheny National Forest is a very big chunk of land, and we're going to take a look at that. If you want to pull it up on Google Maps, I'm right near James City is just to the side of, of this area here. So I want to zoom in on my computer with this camera here. All right, so there's my computer. Here is my handheld phone, I should say. And I have it pulled up, the same area pulled up on my phone. I'm just going to set this down for a second. Oh, actually, you know, I wanted to do this in the woods and in the, I didn't have a good enough service. But if you click on this little layers icon over here, you can change to satellite imagery just like that. So the same area, oops, I'm getting huge glare. Um, so again, there's this little layer tab here. Terrain is to the right. And uh, so that's how you use this. So you can just, when you're at a hunting spot, you can go back and forth. And um, you can kind of see if there's fields or anything like that near where you're going and switch back over to the terrain mode. And then you can see, you know, all of your topography. So let me put that down. Now, looking at the computer here, um, the way I use the Google Maps now, and they've changed this multiple times over the years. But as of right now, there's this little menu icon right over here. You click on that, and if you look down, one of the options is terrain. So I'm going to click on that. And as you can see, it turned my map into a terrain view. Uh, I am going to zoom in a little bit. <clears throat> so James City is off to the side here. And um, I'm zooming in a little. So now we have a little bit of a terrain topo view of this area right in here. Let me show you how I can make waypoints. So right here, this, this is a little saddle right in here. And you know, there's draws coming up on both sides. So I definitely would want to check that out. So you can click on that, and then you come down here and click on 
the GPS coordinates as they show up down here. And what that's going to do is bring this up. Come over to the left hand of your screen and there is an option to save and it puts a little yellow star. Now when I was in the woods I was putting I put a little yellow star in an area. This is putting it right into my same Gmail account and so now if I open up my phone that little star is going to be there. Alright so here's my phone I'm opening up and right here that is the same little star um, and so it's right there in my phone let's see if, uh, if you can, it's kinda not, there you go so there you have it so the that is I mean to me that is great to be able to put on your computer and now it's in your phone so now you can look at your hunting spot before you even go you can mark all of your spots before you even go let's say from there I want to, no I don't want to check that, I want to go right over to here let's say I want to go check this next I'm going to do the same thing, click on the GPS coordinates down at the bottom of the screen, it zooms in a little bit, I come over here, click on save, and now it's putting another waypoint, and actually now that I'm zoomed in, I can see there is some form of an old trail, maybe even a logging road right coming through here, um, and then I can click on my satellite image down here, and wow, look at that, I was right, here comes a, some kind of a trail coming through, and there's a big open area right there off the edge of this. And I can see by zooming in, there's stuff in that opening. It uh, could be, you know, it almost looks like the back of an 18-wheeler kind of a thing. But it's junk. It looks like, you know, stuff that's just sort of parked there. And um, so I probably would not hunt near here. There's some cabins over here. and uh, But having this human activity right here, I would say, okay... But you know, you can see the from the aerial view. There's sort of a trail there, but this is the one I noticed. Let me click on the um, this terrain view again. It's going to take me back, and you can kind of just see a faint line on here that it shows up in the terrain. So I zoom out a little bit more. You can see that coming across. Let me go right here. There's a line coming across into this opening area here. Let me click to the satellite view again, and sure enough, so that's interesting. You can see that. So let's go back to the terrain view. Um, now I don't want that anymore because I'm not going to hunt that. So I'm going to come back over here and click on the star again and it's going to take it away. So let me, um, let me hit the X to close out and that's going to get rid of that. Uh, but how about this right here? I like that right there. I'm going to put a waypoint right there. And star right here. Let's click over to the satellite imagery real quick. Yeah, that's actually, interestingly enough, there is some form of a trail going right through there as well. Right dead center where I just put that point. Let me zoom in. That's one of the drawbacks too. Sometimes from a topographic standpoint, the best po possible spot for, for deer movement is also where they put roads because sometimes it's the best place for a road. So anyway, there you have it. That is how I use Google Maps on my phone. Um, I can put a waypoint in my phone, come home, and it's already on my computer, and vice versa. I can load up a bunch of points on here, and then I can drive out to Allegheny National Forest and go walk around the woods to those points. Now, the only thing I will caution you is if the area where I'm putting these points does not have any form of cell phone service, I might have some issues. You might need to preload or download the maps for that area in order for you to you know, be able to use the GPS in your phone while in that area. So don't just don't rely on cell phone coverage unless you know it's definitely gonna be there. So I hope this is, is interest you and give you some things to work on and think about. I am offering classes now um, through my website, seansoutdooradventures.com. I offer classes on how to read topographic maps and aerial photos. I you know, go through sessions on that. And there's also ways for people to get personalized map reading for their hunting area. I can give them insight on that. So make sure you visit seansoutdooradventures.com. On the store page, I'll have an option there for classes. So I hope to see some of you there. Until then, take care and God bless.